Hello knitters or and stitchers, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make these videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about any of my patterns or perhaps get one for yourself that you want to knit up, please check in the description below and there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you can see all of the patterns I have available for immediate digital download if you want to knit one up. Also in the links are if you would be interested in my monthly newsletter, which if you're on my newsletter, you also get exclusive discounts. There's a link up to that. Today, I wanted to give you an update on my adventures in embroidery. So I have been participating in the one year of stitches challenge. And what that is, is you just commit to making at least one stitch a day. You need to pick up your embroidery and make a stitch. And I started on January 1st and I did that first week a little update, but I decided not to do it like every week, but we'll see. Cause I mean, I didn't know I had enough information, but I am making this update because I finished my first piece. Now, there are some people who like are doing one like piece and doing the whole piece for the year. I not doing that. I was thinking I would do one a month, but then my first piece wasn't finished in a month. I finished it yesterday. So since I finished it yesterday, I'm talking to you about it today. And here it is. Let me make sure. So it turned out to be an abstract piece. <laughs> <laughs> my original idea was that I was going to do the circle and then have lines practice all the different linear uh, stitches you can do and have them coming out arranged around like spokes. But what happened is the first line I did wasn't quite true. It was slightly off. And once it was slightly off, I didn't want to take it out because I liked the way it looked. And then it was like, okay, so it's slightly off. I didn't want to do a whole bunch of slightly off or just have the one slightly off. So I'm like, ah, I'll just make stuff up. So every day, the way my process went is every day, I sat down and I looked at it. And I looked at it and I was like, what does it need? What does it want? What can I do? I would look through, I would Google and I would look at different stitches. And I was just trying to figure out, anytime I added something, I was really trying for it to be balanced so that if I stopped at that point, it wouldn't look completely unfinished. And so I added little bits at a time, trying new things, sometimes doing large amounts, like I did all this at the same time, and sometimes just a little tiny thing, like um, here they are. These little dots right here came on at the same time. And what I have done, is uh, on my Instagram, my friend Sandy said, I should make a time-lapse video. So I have made a video that goes through the pictures I took because I post every single day to Instagram, I post my progress because that's part of the challenge is you make the stitch and you document it. So I did that. And at the end of this video, you will be able to watch the time-lapse or it's just kind of a, I put them all in order of my progress on this piece. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do with it now. I think I'm gonna try to mount it. I was thinking that if I go to like Michael's or something and get a piece of like backing board that's acid free and cut it in the size of the circle and then put maybe a piece of like quilting batting to make it a little bit padded and then pull it around like you're upholstering and do the whole stapley thing. I don't know, we'll see. I'll do something with it because I like it a lot. I'm very happy with it. Um, over the <laughs> over the time I kept posting it, pretty much people were fairly evenly divided between whether they saw a martini, which I can totally see because this shape and this this is the olive, whether they saw the a martini or they saw a Death Star. <laughs> which I can totally see the Death Star too. So I decided to call the piece, I Find Your Lack of Gin Disturbing. I think I've already mentioned this in a video, but that's the name of this piece. 
And before we get to the time lapse, I wanted to show you. So today I didn't have, this was done yesterday. So today I didn't have anything to do. And I'm like, I have to make my stitch today. And I was like, I don't have, I didn't have any fabric um, that I was like, oh, I want to embroider on this fabric. So um, the obvious logical choice there was to make my own fabric. <laughs> which said absolutely no one ever that this was logical. But I decided to participate in Miss Babs, one of my favorite yarn dyers, is having a weave along. And I got my pin loom at Wisconsin Sheep and Wool last summer. I'll link to that, it was fabulous. And I need to do more pin loom stuff. So I was like, hey, I can weave a little square and then embroider on the square and see how that works out. Um, and I thought that leaving it on the loom would be like leaving it on a, um, a hoop, only square. So last night I warped this up and wove it. Um, I really need a lot of practice. This is probably would have worked better with a heavier weight yarn, but what I did is I used it double. And I think next time I might use it triple and make a denser square because it's a little holy, but I, it's nice because that gives you the grid and it's real predictable for embroidery. Now it's become very obvious that embroidering on this type of weave is very different than embroidering on like a tight weave like this. If I pull too much, it distorts it really bad. And you can even see their spots where like there's big holes. So it's gonna be a learning process and I'm gonna have coasters <laughs> or I might sew them together. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But so I wove it last night and this is, so look at this yarn. So isn't it beautiful? This is, um, it's North Umbria. It is a blue face Leicester and this color is Black Watch. And then I also have this, which is French Marigold. And I just adore these two colors together. I've had this yarn stash for quite some time and I love the BFL. If you haven't worked with BFL, BFL stands for Blue Face Leicester. It's a specific type of sheep. And it has a different, it takes dye differently and it has, it, I just love it. It's got a different hand to it. And I like the ply in this yarn. It's fine. It's just, I like it. I like it a lot. So, and what I did is this is called the Indian edging stitch. I did it here on this little, I call it the crown, this little crown here. I really like, I think it's a beautiful stitch. So I did it here and I'll probably do one or two other little things. I'm not gonna like completely embroider this. And uh, then I don't know what's gonna be next. I wanted to do a couple small projects before I got into another Gigantor project. So I wanted to show you this finished one, one last time. There we go. That's what it looks like. And then I'm going to let you guys watch the time-lapse video.
hope you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed making it. I'd love to hear any comments you might have or questions or anything down in the comments below if you have suggestions. I want to do a few small projects. I saw people doing like embroidering onto like little felt balls and I've seen like little necklaces and I think it'd be a lot of fun to really experiment with embroidery and I'm gonna keep on weaving my little heart out. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video to my channel, please subscribe to it and select notification. Thank you so much.